Hey guys, a lot of people keep asking me what happens uh, when you don't run your programs through a validator and various other things. So I am quite literally showing you uh, right now. So here is the FlashForge Photo 8.9. I am going to loosen that up, but before I do that, I'm going to grab some gloves, because remember guys, safety first, we are digging with chemicals, even if they're water based chemicals, they're still chemicals nonetheless, take off any jewellery, take off any watches or anything like that, because trust me, trying to get resin out of a watch, off a, off a touch screen watch is a pain in the rear, uh, even if you do the uh, uh, tape trick. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I will do a video on that for you. Uh, so we are, ta-da, getting ready. And so what I'm going to do is grab my. Where did I put him? Uh oh, there goes my microphone. Not cool. Sorry about this, guys. I've got to sort out my desk. All right. Well, anyway, so we're gonna take it over and take a look. And what you're gonna find, hey guys, what you're gonna find is that there is a bunch of failed bases. Now they're they're the same base. They're all 32 mil base. But some didn't adhere, some collapsed, uh, all because I didn't validate the file. I didn't run it through UV tools. I thought to myself, you know, I don't. I know that there's no overhangs. I know that there's no no resin traps, no nothing. You know, I, I don't need to run it through UV tools. Always validate your files. Okay, guys. See you in the next one. A quick tip for you guys. I know that some of you keep asking me uh, how to stop your prints from sticking. Uh, as you saw earlier in this clip, there were some failed prints. Let me just flip her over. As you can see, there was clearly failed prints. Nothing stuck because it stuck to the FEP sheet. But after a very good wipe down and clean with some uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol, I buy mine in the big jugs on Amazon. 99% um, and then you buy yourself some alcohol based uh, wipes uh, These are just baby wipes uh, Clean down the surface on inside outside and along the edges uh, and then uh, What you want to do is you want to do what's known as a tension test and a tension test is usually done on the opposite side now notice that there are a few digs and dinks in the FEP sheet that tells me I'm gonna have to buy a new a uh, FEP sheet here in, uh, I would say, uh, a week or so, depending on how how heavy of a load of a print I'm going to be doing. And uh, most importantly, what you want to do is you want to take a small bit of scotch tape, okay, just a small piece, and then what you want to do is take some and just put it on your FEP sheet for a second, and then pull up, and listen, okay. If you still have tension. Okay, it's gonna sound like a snare drum. Okay, so just like that. We've still got tension. Okay, that's a little trick for you. Okay, now another thing is, get this stuff, GT85 with PTFE. You can get this on Amazon, you can get this from your hardware store, you can get it from Lowe's, you can get it from B&Q's, you can get it from tons of places. And all you gotta do is give it a quick spritz like that, wait about five, 10 minutes for it to seep in because it's got to seep, it's got to penetrate the, the FEP sheet so that it can replace um, some of the chemicals during the resin heating process that gets sapped out of the FEP sheet. This uh, replaces it. It's not a permanent replacement. It just extends the life of your FEP sheets So if you're constantly going through FEP sheets like I am and I mean to the point where I have 
an entire vanilla folder, if I can find it offhand. Uh, here it is. Ooh, not even joking. This thing is full of FEP sheets. Full of FEP sheets. Because I go used to go through them so much. Well, like I said, what you need to do, GT85 is your friend. Uh, there is a WD-40 uh, version. Um, you can get it in dry or wet. I do have some, but I mostly use that for the um, Z-axis rods because that will keep your rods clean. If you notice you're getting stuttering or jittering um, and you've checked your layer heights and whatnot and you're still getting it, your rod's dirty and your stepper motor is having a hard time keeping up with the G-code. So what you want to do is just quick spray of that. Not this, of course, of the WD-40. This just solely for the FEP sheet. Now, if you've noticed, she started to mist up real nicely and has clumped in the areas where the FEP sheet was getting used the most. The, the edge, not so much because that's not where the screen is, it's the center. And you can see from the center how it's looked like thick, thick raindrops. That's a good sign. That means that the, 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 the liquid itself is, the, the, is doing its job and is penetrating the FEP, which is a good thing. You don't have to scuff it or anything like most people think, like, oh, if you're going to penetrate, no, 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 no. You're not putting self etching primer or anything out. No, you don't need to touch the FEP sheet. It, it, it chemically bonds itself. So you don't have to stand and grind away. You, 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 you just don't. Just don't. Just don't. They just don't. They just don't. Okay. Anyway, guys, so that's what I do to keep my FEP sheets strong. Uh, I do plan on buying a, oh God, at least five or six of these uh, FEP sheets for this eight and a half, for this nine inch printer. Um, I've got a ton for my six inch printer uh, because my six inch printer is about to go burr and print me off a ton of D&D &D minis for a D&D &D campaign for a friend of mine over at Eclectic Games here in Reading. If you're in the Reading or Berkshire area, head over to Eclectic Games, tell them I sent you, say hi, They'll welcome your business. They're locally owned. They're, they're, they're just a beautiful, lovely company. Love the owners. Love everything that they do. They have a Discord and everything else. I'll probably try and link it in the video description for you guys. In the description, in the, uh, uh, in, in, yeah, in the description section for you. But, um, yeah. Uh, whew, what else? Another little thing for you guys. Um, the channel is now officially sponsored. Ish. Uh, what I mean by that is normally I sponsor my own videos using my merch store. However, um, something really cool has happened and that coolness is Chidu Box has reached out to me and has started a long-term affiliate partnership with me. Uh, I can talk more about it here in, in a little while, um, but uh, like I said guys, I'm getting ready to record some uh, in, in, in ads for them for the YouTube channel. And a few other things so i figured why not kill two birds one stone i was cleaning the printer anyway to take a break from audio recording because uh, my voice is killing me and so i figured what the hey so here we go so cleaning some prints taking a quick break and getting ready to do some video editing so anyway guys uh, sorry about the shaky cam i decided to give this little digital camera a try to see if i liked it uh, because i was thinking about taking it with me to london comic con uh, where i will be cosplaying as either a mandalorian bounty hunter or yeah so most likely my mando but anyway guys i will see you later on